Diabetes is the leading cause of kidney disease. In fact, one in three diabetics eventually get kidney disease. So today we're revealing key tips to protect your kidneys. You'll discover practical lifestyle steps, common medications to be aware of, as well as specific foods and spices that have been scientifically shown to heal your kidneys. First of all, be cautious with over-the-counter medications. Many of the over-the-counter pain relievers like ibuprofen and naproxen can harm your kidneys if used frequently or in high doses. These non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or NSAIDs, reduce blood flow to the kidneys, increasing the risk of damage. This is especially serious if you have diabetes or high blood sugar. Experts advise against using these medications for more than 10 consecutive days, unless directed by your doctor. Likewise, cold and flu medications often contain decongestants, which can raise blood pressure and reduce kidney function if overused. Similarly, some antiacids for heartburn contain aluminum, adding stress to the kidneys. Ultimately, it's better to steer clear of these when possible and opt for more natural solutions. If you're going to use them, do so sparingly and follow the instructions very carefully. Next, keep an eye on your blood pressure. Blood pressure has a profound effect on kidney health. When it's too high, it puts strain on the tiny blood vessels in your kidneys, making it harder for them to do their job. Start by getting your blood pressure checked regularly. Many pharmacies offer quick, free checks, or you can use a home monitor. Knowing your numbers is the first step to staying in control. Pair this with lifestyle factors like daily walks, meditation, or intentional relaxation, and eating more of the foods we'll discuss later. At number nine, avoid protein overload. High protein diets are all the rage these days. You'll hear about them everywhere, promising weight loss, muscle gain, and more. But caution is advised. When you eat protein, your kidneys have to process the waste it produces. Animal proteins, particularly red meat, are hard for your kidneys to handle. They require more effort to break down and eliminate waste products, which can overwork kidneys. Meat also contains compounds like purines, which can break down into uric acid. High uric acid levels can lead to gout. When uric acid builds up, it can form sharp crystals in your joints, causing intense pain commonly in the big toe, but also in ankles, knees, or fingers. Gout isn't just a joint issue though. It's linked to kidney health because the same uric and acid crystals can accumulate in the kidneys, resulting in kidney stones. So how much is safe? Experts recommend limiting red meat to two servings a week, around six ounces or 170 grams total. Plant-based proteins like beans, lentils, and tofu are much easier on the kidneys. They produce fewer waste products and come with added benefits like fiber, vitamins, and antioxidants that support overall health. Eating quality fish two to three times a week is also a great idea. Fish, particularly fatty fish like salmon and mackerel, isn't just easier for your kidneys to handle, it's also rich in omega-3 fatty acids. These healthy fats improve heart health, support brain function, and even enhance insulin sensitivity, making fish an excellent choice for diabetics. Next, stay hydrated, but smartly. You probably know that staying hydrated is crucial for kidney health, and it is, but overhydration can also put unnecessary strain on your kidneys. Drinking excessive amounts of water dilutes your blood too much, making your kidneys work harder to balance electrolytes. Instead, sip water consistently throughout the day. Adjust based on your activity level and your climate that you're in. A good rule of thumb is to drink when you feel thirsty, but avoid forcing yourself to chug large amounts. Certain drinks can do more than hydrate. They can actively support your kidneys. Herbal teas such as dandelion, nettle, and ginger promote gentle detoxification and reduce inflammation. Lemon water is another excellent choice. Citrate, a compound in lemons, binds to calcium crystals in your kidneys, preventing them from growing larger and forming kidney stones. 
Lemon has even been shown to help existing kidney stones pass more easily in urine. On that note, one of the best things you can do for broad health is to start your day with lemon water. Beyond reducing kidney stones, lemons contain hesperidin, a plant compound shown to improve insulin sensitivity. This means your body becomes better at processing sugar, leading to more stable blood sugar levels, less fatigue, and reducing your risk of nerve damage from high blood sugar. However, lemon water's acidity can harm your tooth enamel. To minimize this, drink lemon water through a straw to reduce contact in your teeth. Rinse your mouth with plain water immediately after and avoid brushing your teeth for at least 30 minutes to let the enamel re-harden. On the flip side, certain drinks should be avoided. Let's start with diet sodas. While they lack sugar, artificial sweeteners and additives have been linked to a decline in kidney function over time. There are sports drinks which, despite being marketed as hydrating, are often packed with extremely high levels of sodium and artificial ingredients that burden your kidneys. Sugary sodas, unsurprisingly, are one of the worst. Their high sugar content spikes blood sugar and insulin levels, causing massive stress on your kidneys. Alcohol also deserves a mention. It dehydrates you and forces your kidneys to work overtime to remove toxins. Even excessive coffee consumption can be risky due to its caffeine content, which may dehydrate you if not balanced with water. And before we get to the best foods, let's discuss the ones you definitely want to limit or avoid altogether. First, ultra-processed foods. Items like chips, frozen dinners, and deli meats are loaded with sodium and preservatives. Too much sodium forces your kidneys to retain water to balance electrolytes, increasing blood pressure and straining kidney function. Even foods that seem innocent, like canned soups and sauces, often hide excessive sodium levels. Now, we're not saying you need to avoid salt altogether, but these foods can have seriously dangerous levels. Check labels and aim to cook fresh whenever possible. Then there's sugar. You already know sugar wrecks havoc on blood sugar levels, but it also accelerates kidney damage. And it's not just in candy and soda. Many sauces, breakfast cereals, and even breads are packed with hidden sugars. Speaking of refined carbohydrates, grains like wheat, rye, and barley might seem like harmless staples, but they can pose serious risks to your health. Everyday foods like bread, pasta, and breakfast cereals, which are made from refined grains, can be a hidden danger. These grains contain proteins like gluten and gliadin, which are difficult for the human digestive system to break down. When these proteins aren't fully digested, they can irritate the lining of your gut, leading to increased intestinal permeability, often called leaky gut. Leaky gut allows undigested particles to enter your bloodstream triggering an immune response, straining your organs, causing inflammation and weakening immunity. If you've watched any of our other videos, you'll know that your gut microbiome is directly connected to many other aspects of health, and things like bread and pasta are a serious danger that it's hidden there. Okay, that's the very worst foods. So now what about the best? Let's start with an obscure flower you might see in the grass. Dandelions. Yes, they're more than just weeds. They're actually a nutritional gem for your kidneys. These plants contain compounds like teraxtrol and insulin, which reduce kidney inflammation. Dandelions also act as a natural diuretic, helping your kidneys to flush out toxins effectively. Plus, dandelions offer antibacterial benefits that protect against urinary tract infections. By creating an environment less hospitable to harmful bacteria, they support a healthier urinary tract. You can enjoy dandelion greens in salads, steep their roots in boiling water for a delicious tea, or cook them like spinach. If you're harvesting them yourself, consider how they've been grown, avoiding areas treated with pesticides or exposed to contaminants. Alternatively, you can buy dried dandelions from a reputable seller to ensure quality and safety. Dandelion can interact with medications such as diuretics and blood thinners. It's surprisingly powerful, so check with your doctor if you're taking medication. 
At number four, cruciferous vegetables are a stellar anti-diabetic food, especially for kidney health. This family includes broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, kale, Brussels sprouts, and bok choy. What sets them apart is their high sulforaphane content, a compound that activates natural detoxification pathways in your body. Your kidneys play a vital role in filtering waste from your blood. At the heart of this process are tiny structures called glomeruli. They act like fine sieves, removing toxins while keeping essential nutrients. However, high blood sugar can damage these filters. It's like they become rusty when exposed to sugar, making them less effective and leading to serious complications. Well, sulforaphane helps maintain the integrity of your glomeruli. It protects their delicate structure, reducing the strain caused by elevated blood sugar. This means better kidney health. These vegetables also tackle other diabetes-related issues. For example, sulforaphane helps support nerve health, reducing the risk of neuropathy, a common diabetic complication. Now, sulforaphane isn't present in its active form until the vegetable is chopped or chewed. This process combines glucorophanin, a naturally occurring compound, with the enzyme myrosinase, which gets released when the cell walls break. For maximum benefit, chop your cruciferous veggies and let them sit for about 30 minutes before cooking. Heat can deactivate mucirinase, so letting them rest ensures sulforaphane formation. To take it a step further, eating your cruciferous veggies raw is the ultimate way to preserve this potent compound. Just throw a little diced red cabbage into your salad or go for a snack of raw broccoli with hummus. Before we get to the top three, is this video useful? Please click the like button. If you haven't already, click subscribe and turn notifications on to see more videos as we release them. Next, parsley offers more than a flavor boost. Its standout compound, apigenin, is known to support kidney health by encouraging natural detoxification. Parsley also contains lutein, a powerful antioxidant that protects cells from oxidative damage. Parsley's nutrients work best when paired with fats or proteins, which is why we use it as a garnish. Vitamins A, K, and E in parsley are fat-soluble, meaning they're absorbed more efficiently alongside a little bit of oil, cheese, or meat. Beyond kidney health, vitamin A and E are vital for eye health. This is especially important for diabetics who are at a higher risk of vision problems. Vitamin K plays a key role in building strong bones and protecting your heart, directing calcium where it belongs, into your bones and not your arteries. At number two, we have nature's candy, berries. Berries are super low in sugar. They're also packed with anthocyanins, which are compounds that help your body repair and protect its tissues. These benefits are especially important for keeping your kidneys functioning properly. Top choices include elderberries, blueberries, blackberries, chokeberries, strawberries, and raspberries. But cranberries are the champion when it comes to kidneys. Cranberries stand out for their ability to prevent urinary tract infections by stopping harmful bacteria from attaching to the urinary tract lining. Since untreated UTIs can progress to kidney infections, adding cranberries to your diet can be a proactive way to safeguard your kidneys. Enjoy them fresh, stir them into yogurt, or blend them into your smoothies. And at number one, we have spices. Spices are the most nutrient-dense foods on the planet. Ancient civilizations understood their health benefits, using them to ease pain, cure stomach aches, and combat infections. Modern science confirms that they observed that spices have measurable impacts on reducing inflammation, regulating blood sugar, and improving overall health. Three of the best spices for your kidneys include turmeric, ginger, and cinnamon. Turmeric alleviates inflammation, ginger supports healthy digestion, and cinnamon stabilizes blood sugar levels, all reducing strain on your kidneys. Various spices can have a transformative impact on insulin resistance and thus blood sugar control, as well as digestive health, sleep quality, and even cancer risk. It's too much to discuss in this video. So next, watch our video on the best spices for insulin resistance and high blood sugar.